I'm Shivangi Shukla getting you the latest coming in. We come to know that Atlas 400 expected to land in Thiruvananthapuram around 1 p.m. from Muscat. This is uh, likely to carry UK crew members to land in Thiruvananthapuram around 1 p.m. Atlas 400 likely to, uh, to land with the crew members around 1 p.m. And remember, this is coming in as we told you that uh, British engineers and technicians will be arriving to assess the situation of the British. F-35 jet which has been grounded in Kerala since June 14th and I want to go straight across to my colleague who's joining us right now. We have with us Ashwin joining us live. Ashwin, this is, this is, we'll go to Ashwin in a short while from now but these pictures are of the F-35 jet airlift which is awaited. Efforts were, were put earlier to repair the aircraft uh, which have not really worked out so far. And the second option is to take this air, this jet back aboard a special transport uh, plane such as C-17. There's some back-to-back -back coming in right on Republic TV. And we are coming to know that uh, the team of technicians uh, from uh, the British technicians are going to arrive from Muscat around 1 p.m. later on in the day. All right. We have with us our guest who is uh, joining us live right now. Let's go to a guest, uh, Group Captain J.P. Bajpai, aviation expert, is joining us. Thank you for joining us there. And uh, what we see right now is that uh, a lot of options are open and on the ta table, uh, Group Captain. One is to repair. Second one is to uh, get that jet back. Uh, we see that uh, both options are on the table. According to you, where is... Uh, which option is looking more likely and why? We, oh, uh, sir, sir, you are you are on mute. If you could just unmute yourself. Uh, so, Madam, initially, as per the media report, this particular aircraft had come to uh, for a navy exercise. And uh, that time, it uh, with the assistance from Indian Air Force, this aircraft had developed some uh, uh, snacks like uh, low fuel and the weather problem got landed at the Trivandrum. Subsequently, they did some uh, inspection for uh, subsequent takeoff. It was observed uh, during pre-flight inspection that there is a hydraulic uh, 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 snag issue had uh, come up. Uh, we are not sure because they are not giving the detailed information uh, what had actually gone wrong with this aircraft. This is supposed to be the world's costliest and uh, uh, most stealth uh, air, uh, fighter aircraft in the world. So now the engineers from the aerospace and Lockheed Martin uh, trained engineers, skillful uh, person would be coming and they will first assist in case if the aircraft could be rectified at Trivandrum, then they would love to fly the aircraft in a single piece back to its base. In case if it does not take place, then they will dismantle. Mind it, they will not dismantle to the screw and the minutest detail. They will dismantle the aircraft in a, uh, in a shape where it can be transported in C-17 Globemaster. Because similar thing had happened earlier also on 19th May 2018, somewhere in the Florida, one F-35 got stuck up and that was dismantled. And for dismantling process, we require the specialized engineer and so many jigs, pictures, uh, and the places where the wings could be uh, kept safely. There should not be any damage. A minor scratch on the body of the fighter aircraft will deteriorate its performance. And especially on this aircraft where the special coating has been done on the outer surface so that it re remains immune from the radar signature. So it's a very, very specific, precise exercise wherein they have to maintain the various security. Also, every screw they um, uh, um, uh, remove it, they have to code it and uh, every action is to be recorded so that the secrecy could be maintained. Okay, group captain, group captain, uh, we understand there are a couple of options on the table. Uh, but, uh, you know, we also come to know that India could be assisting uh, in repairing or transporting this jet. So, what contribution is India making here? 
Uh, India had offered since beginning its assistance. If you remember, when the aircraft was grounded at Trivandrum, we offered that Air India MRO hangar is there where it could be parked safely against the uh, monsoon rains and uh, open uh, parking is not advised for the fi uh, fighter aircraft for such a long period. It will totally depend on the um, uh, British authorities what all help they are looking from us. We are more than ready to help them. All right. Okay.